Yeah, it was a long distance build. I was in Labrador yeah. and I was in Alberta, so it was all through email and phone. <laughs> she was three hours behind and I was working in Labrador, so I was like and it was on the site similar. trying to like talk to Greg and talk to Chantel and they were awesome about it. Everywhere else, like which I tried a few different places and it was like a week before someone would get back to me and I'd send, I sent a message to Chantal and then she was like bang, right away. So, yeah, and it was like consistent throughout the whole build that she was doing it. Every yeah. time I would send really a message, they were right back to us right away. So we were sold just on the service really. Yeah. Amplewood was originally the plan, but I mean, that's completely different. We knew the we kitchen was originally that. supposed to be here, and that was supposed to be living room, and the master was on this side, so there was no side entrance, so it was like pretty well the shell and the exterior of the ample wood. Just we turned everything around like 15 times inside. A lot of it changed. But a lot of it did change, yeah. <laughs> like we were gonna do laminate through the whole house, and then we ended up doing tile, and they didn't seem frustrated with us. No. I tell everybody, all my buddies now are, you know, they're all building houses and they're having kids and they're buying old houses and doing them up. And I'm like, why? You know what I mean? Like, this is... You can get brand new. And, or... and like, obviously you have to do stuff, but oh my God, Plus it's so helpful. Plus you can helpful. design your whole house, like, and make it yeah. suit you exactly. And within your budget. Like, we pretty much gave her a budget and she Yeah, it was inside right it. inside of it mm -hmm. the whole time. I think that was one of the best parts. Basically, when I first started to plan on it, I was, my mom got really sick out of nowhere. She was healthy as anything, and she ended up getting really sick and passed away within six weeks. Hannah was there for uh, every step of the way. So she laid everything down and left her job and, and came and moved down to just be with me at this point. And uh, after that, I knew. I had a million different ways I was gonna propose. But I figured doing it on the front of the house because we put so much, it was just such an awesome experience, you know, we really bonded over building this house together. So then we drove up the driveway and I had the blindfold on and I got out and Steve like guided me and I, I kind of like, I thought I heard you kneel down maybe. And then I took it off and there's just this big banner, will you marry me? And he gave me his mom's ring actually. And working with Chantel and working with everyone at Stones, it was just a great, overall experience and it's definitely so I figured that uh, I did not think he was going to propose to me no <laughs> she was constantly asking me to propose no to I wasn't <laughs> no I'm just teasing I was 27 weeks pregnant yesterday so, so officially in the third trimester I didn't propose because she was pregnant I had already planned to propose <laughs> I don't know if you're going to use that, but for anybody who's wondering. <laughs>